In the midst of the South Pacific, on one of the most remote islands on Earth, the mute sentinels of Easter Island have stood guard for centuries. The indigenous Rapa Nui people believe the statues carry the spirit of ancestors, but in 1868, one was plundered, shipped to London, installed at the British Museum. Now, Easter Island's people are begging for its return, even if temporary. You have take, uh, keep in here for 150 years. Just give us some months and we can have it. Western capitals are full of foreign treasures, like this ancient Egyptian obelisk, Cleopatra's Needle, whose twin stands in New York. But Egypt, like a growing number of countries, wants its artifacts back. Uh, any artifact that left Egypt in an illegal or dubious way should be returned to Egypt. Greece has long battled Britain to return the Elgin marbles to the Parthenon. In some cases, the pressure has worked. France just announced it's giving back 26 pieces of African art seized from former colonies. But some argue these priceless treasures are safer in the West. In Iraq and Syria, ISIS obliterated history, waging a war on art, forcing the world to watch. We were in Nimrud after Iraqi forces liberated the ancient city, preserved for centuries, now in ruins. The argument for keeping artifacts where they are is so we can best understand them. Easter Island's past has been open to millions of British Museum visitors, but the Rapa Nui people say it's time to bring that past home. Lucy Kafanov, NBC News.